I think it's one of the strengths of the Israeli high-tech industry comes from a culture of interrogation, of discussing mistakes, uh, of speaking openly about failures. And I, it comes from the Israeli army, mainly from the uh, pilots and from the frogman units. Uh, every single event is interrogated immediately, and the ability to correct is dependent on the ability to discuss mistakes. I think this is a very important part of the Israeli high-tech industry. Um, this is, a, I don't know about other cultures, but I think it's very strong in Israel. Uh, I want to discuss about something in common between Israel and Finland, which is experiencing of a big bang. Determination of the uh, jet fighter, De La Vie, some tens of years ago, threw many uh, engineers out to the market, people who are in nature, not entrepreneurs at all. Those who work for IAI are not the people who are entrepreneurs in nature. The same like the people in Nokia, when Nokia lost the uh, cell phone business. And the, um, this is a big bang. And those engineers had to find jobs. And some entrepreneurs understood the opportunity. The technology exists. Uh, and here there is actually an advantage that Finns have, which I think is very interesting. Finland high-tech scene is not a herd. Um, you, the diversification compared to the number of startups is impressive. Not everyone goes to cyber, everyone goes to gaming. Uh, you see in Finland a lot of uh, different um, clusters, um, which I think is a strong complement. It has a disadvantage because the ecosystem is, is weaker in each of these clusters, but the diversification uh, gives a lot. So I... Uh, I hope I, I answer this one.